hello friends in this video i will show you how to create your own view in sketchware so here we know that this text view edit text button image view and all these things are a kind of view and here i will show you how to create your own view which you can modify so here i have added a more block called extra codes and in this more block i have used an add source directly block and put following code now here the first thing i put is a closing color bracket which will close this more block called extra codes it will close the extra codes and after that we can put our own code so here i have defined a new class called my view which is a view so i can change the name of this view but here i have written it as my view then inside this I have declared a paint called my paint. This paint will be used to draw on the canvas of this view. After that, I have defined a constructor. I have defined a method, constructor method for this view. So the constructor method is my view context. So if the context is main activity dot this, I can write this my view this. So that will be the that will create my view. So this is the constructor for this view. And inside this, I have written super context, which is the context here. And then I have defined this my paint as a new paint. After that, I have used the on draw canvas method for this view. But protected void on draw canvas space canvas. So this is the canvas of this view. Now inside this, I have written, I have got the width of the view, int view width is equal to this dot get measured width. Similarly, we can get view height also, but here I will be using only view width. Now, I have, def I have set the style for this paint as stroke, then I have set anti alias true for this paint. And I have set the color of the paint to red. And after that, I can use this paint to draw anything on the canvas. Now here I will be drawing a line on the canvas. Now this is the description about canvas in Android. Now here you can find this. There is a method called draw bitmap, draw circle, draw color, draw line. So here I will be using this draw line to draw a line. In this draw line, we can use, we have to use start x, start y, which is the start point, and then stop x, stop y, which is the final point of the line, and then the paint which is used to draw that line. So here I have already defined the paint with color red, which will be used to draw the line. Now I have to write canvas dot the code here which is draw line and then all these coordinates. So here I will write canvas dot draw line. Now I am going to draw a horizontal line. So the x will be 0 and y will be let's say the y will be 2 and then this is the starting point 0 comma 2 and then the end point at end point the x will be view width so I'll just put this as the end point of the line and y will be same as the previous y since it is a horizontal line so it will be 2 and after that I will write the paint which is my paint then I will just close this, put a semicolon. Now I am going to show this line. Suppose I have to show this line between my view and this button. Then I am going to put a linear here. This is linear 4. And in on create method, I will create a new my view by writing. 
my view is equal my view m v let's name it as m v is equal to new my view this so here i use the constructor to create a new view new my view and now i will add it to linear 4 linear 4 dot add view mv and that's all now let's check this okay so here you can see the red color horizontal line but you will notice that the button is missing because the height of this view is match parent and we have not defined it anywhere so even if this is wrap content the height of this linear is wrap content this button is not visible so in order to make it visible we have to change the height of this linear 4 and write it as some fixed height whether we write it match parent or wrap content it will not affect it we have to write a fixed height for this let's write it as 20 or let's just increase it to 30 this is proper now the button should be visible so here the button is visible now and you can see this line now instead of one line we can draw two lines also like here in this canvas if we have to draw another line right below this line then we will use this same code and instead of this y coordinate at 2 we will use some other coordinate like 8 and here also 8 so this will create another line another line right below the previous line so here you can see two red lines in this view now suppose you want to change the color you can directly change it here in your view but if you want to have a variable for changing this color then you can just add it here as a private int uh, like you can write it as view color or you can write it as line color this will be the this will be an int called line color now here we can define this line color is equal to let's make it this dot color now let's add a color here int line color and here we can write this dot line color is equal to line color and here instead of setting color dot red as the color of the paint we can set line color as color of the paint and now we can add the color in the constructor right after this we can put a comma and add the color here color dot let's make it blue now let's check this so yeah you can see these blue color lines so that's all in this video you can use other methods which are there for canvas in this like you can 
you can go ahead and draw multiple lines then you can draw lines I just go to the top so yeah you can use all these methods clip out rect then the all the draw methods like draw arc draw bitmap then there is this draw bitmap mesh draw circle draw color draw line draw multiple lines